I found the best terror type for every single Pokemon in the game. I started working on this video over a month ago, before the game's even released, and we're only able to put it out now because it was just such a massive project. It took a ton of effort, so I really hope you enjoy. Let's kick off our list with Raichu. That's my boy. Raichu is a tricky one because it doesn't really use its offenses or its defenses especially well. It's a fast disruptive support Pokemon that normally relies on its item to stick around. It's probably not a Pokemon you want to terrestrialize very often, but when you do, flying is the best choice. It makes you immune to ground type attacks and thanks to Lightning Rod, you're already also immune to electric moves. Wigglytuff Being a normal and fairy type Pokemon, Wigglytuff pretty much only struggles with steel types. So its best terra type is definitely fire. And because it already gets access to a bunch of fire type moves, you don't even have to run Terra Blast on it. Venomoth. Venomoth's typing is uh, abysmal, but that's okay because we can just change it into something else. There's no one type that perfectly covers all of its weaknesses, but turning into a steel type does help with the rock, psychic, and flying weaknesses. Dug Trio. Dug Trio's defensive stats are so bad. If you're gonna terrestrialize it, you really need to be focusing on your damage alone. To help with the flying and bug type Pokemon that resist your ground attacks, Terra Rock is Dug Trio's best option. Though you could also use Terra Ground to make sure you hit everything else for more damage. Persian. Persian doesn't have much going for it, but it does have the ability Technician, which boosts the power of weak moves by 50%. Pair that with the move Fake Out for some decent damage, while also forcing your opponent to miss a turn. You can increase the the damage further with Terra Normal, giving Persian at least, I don't know, a little field presence. Golduck. Golduck is a surprisingly good Pokemon. With access to Swift Swim, it's normally used on rain-based teams, where it can hit fast and hard. If you plan on running a rain team, Terra Water is its best option. If you want more staying power though, Terra Dragon is also perfectly respectable. Arcanine. Having great stats in a wide move pool, Arcanine is an amazing all-rounder with fantastic flexibility, as long as it doesn't faint. With Terra Water, Arcanine is able to turn off its rock, ground, and water weaknesses, allowing it to stick around longer. Your opponent won't be able to safely use grass types against it because you'll still have access to your stab fire moves. Slow Bro and Slow King. I'm lumping these together because the reasoning is the same. These Pokemon both benefit the most from a sudden change to the fairy type, turning their dark and bug weaknesses into resistances and helping them stick around for longer. Muck. Poison types struggle primarily with their poor offensive coverage, so to subvert this, turn your muck into a ground type. It doesn't share any weaknesses with poison, and it significantly improves muck's ability to hit the poison, ground, rock, and steel types that resist its poison moves. Cloister. Cloister is tricky because it has a number of weaknesses. The secret to its terra type lies in its stats. Oh god, look at the difference in its defenses. Cloyster is weak to fighting, rock, grass, and electric, but typically, fighting and rock moves are physical, whereas electric and grass moves are special. For that reason, Terra Dragon is the best choice, buying you time to set up a shell smash so you can go for a shell sweep. Genjar. Since Genjar is already a frail offensive ghost type, the only thing it's missing is a little more coverage. Steel and dark types are a problem, so Terra fighting is the way to go. Not only does this take the number of types Genjar can hit for super effective from 4 to 9, it also gives it a more reliable fighting attack with Terra Blast rather than ugh, Focus Blast. Hypno. Need a bulky Trick Room Setter? Not too worried about your offense? Terra Dark Hypno. Makes it Prankster immune, Fake Out immune, and lets it resist the ghost and dark types that normally threaten it. Gyarados. There's one type that's far and away the best one for Gyarados to terrestrialize into, and that's Ground. Becoming Ground type takes Gyarados' quadruple weakness to Electric and makes it an immunity. This also takes its only other weakness and turns it into a resistance. Coincidentally, Gyarados has access to the best ground move in the game, Earthquake, which can be useful whether you've terrestrialized or not. Changing into a ground type gives it Stab though, making Earthquake even better. Vaporeon. This one's less cut and dry than Gyarados, but I think that there's a solid case to be made for a Dragon type Vaporeon. Dragon resists Grass and Electric, Vaporeon's only weaknesses. Dragon is only weak to Fairy and Ice, and Vaporeon is strong against Ice types before it terrestrializes. This is a terrestrialization used primarily for defense, but if you want a little more power for your Vaporeon, Terra Water is a good option as well. Jolteon Jolteon is a fast, strong, and frail attacker whose main weakness is its lack of coverage moves. Electric is a great type, but it struggles against Grass, Dragon, and Ground types. Fortunately, the Ice type is super effective against all three, and since Jolteon doesn't tend to stay in the game for more than two turns anyway, the drawback of gaining more weaknesses isn't that big a deal. Flareon 
Like all evolutions, Flareon struggles with coverage. It's also weak to rock, water, and ground, some of the most common types in competitive Pokemon. With Terra Grass and Terra Blast, <laughs> Flareon can flip these negative matchups on their head. Dragonite. Dragonite has four weaknesses, Ice, Dragon, Fairy, and Rock. With Steel Typing and Multiscale, Dragonite can become extremely bulky and make good use of its wide move pool. Hey, before we continue with the video, I just wanted to take a second and ask you to check if you're subscribed. Like I said, this video was massive and took over a month to make, so if you found it useful, I hope you'll consider subscribing. It can be hard to justify working on one video for so long, so if you found this video useful, I hope you'll consider supporting the channel. Whether you're subscribed or not, I want to say thanks for watching the videos. I'm really lucky to be able to do this full time, and people like you who watch my videos are the only reason I can. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Ampharos. Ampharos is a bulky electric type. While it doesn't have great coverage, it's far riskier for it to turn into a type like Ice because it's so slow. For that reason, Ampharos's best Terra type is Electric, giving it additional damage output without the drawback of more weaknesses. Azumarill. Azumarill's typing is honestly really good, so you might not want to terrestrialize it that often. When you do, something like Steel to help it set up Belly Drum or Water for more damage output is best. Sudowoodo. Sudowoodo is tough because it doesn't have a ton going for it, but I think there are two options you could consider. First, Terra Water. This is a well-balanced type overall that can help Sudowoodo deal with opposing water and ground types. Second is Bug, which I know sounds weird because Bug is the worst type, but it actually works really well here. It resists fighting in ground, and you don't have to worry so much about the fire and flying types that lose to rock. Jumpluff. Jumpluff normally only has one use competitively, Spam Sleep Powder. Steel is the best defensive type, so it's the most likely to help Jumpluff stay on the field and keep being disruptive. If you're worried about fire type attacks, Terra Water is also good here. Sunflora. Sunflora has two abilities that power it up in the sun, so why not have your Terra type boost it even further? Terra Fire Sunflora boosts its coverage and shores up its weaknesses nicely. Espeon. Espeon can use Terra Dark to eliminate its weaknesses to Ghost and Dark attacks, or Terra Fire to improve its coverage and allow it to hit Steel types, which is best depends on the Espeon set. Umbreon. Umbreon is a Pokemon that focuses entirely on its defenses, so Terra Steel is the best choice to help it stay alive. Terra Ghost is less useful overall, but does eliminate its weaknesses to Fighting and Bug. Fortress. Same typing as Caesar, but a purely defensive Pokemon. I recommend Terra Water. Gunsparce. Dunsparce's main use is as a Serene Grace, Paralysis, and Flinch Pokemon, so its focus should be on defense. Even though it does share a fighting weakness, Terra Steel Dunsparce is the best way to get the most value out of your slug. Caesar. One of my favorite Pokemon, Caesar has three options. Terra Dragon. It's a great type, and it resists the fire moves normally used to stop Caesar in its tracks. Plus, Caesar's steel typing scares off Dragon, Ice, and Fairy Pokemon. You could use Terra Water here too for a similar reason. The other option is Terra Steel. This improves Caesar's defensive typing a little bit, removes its quadruple weakness to fire, and lets its bullet punch hit even harder. Houndoom. Houndoom benefits a lot from Terra Grass, letting it hit water, ground, and rock types that threaten it. If you're not worried about those types, Terra Dark or Fire from more damage output is also a safe bet. Dawnfan. Dawnfan is weak to water, ice, and grass attacks, and is overall a bulky Pokemon with decent offense. The best Terra type for it is Steel, to allow it to survive longer and take advantage of ground's good matchup spread. If you want more damage, you can also use Terra Ground. Blissey. Terra Ghost. This one's easy. You only have one weakness, may as well turn it into an immunity. Tyranitar. I have a hot take for this one. I think Rock might be the best Terra type for Tyranitar. Sure, you don't lose most of your weaknesses, but you also don't lose the special defense boost Sandstorm gives you. Plus, you get a damage boost to your Rock type attacks. Alternatively, Ghost is good for a cheeky immunity to what used to be a 4 times weakness to fighting. Pelipper. A worse version of Gyarados in every way, Ground is still a very solid defensive Terra type here. But if you want more damage, Water or Flying are also valid. Gardevoir. Terra Fire allows Gardevoir to hit the Steel-type Pokemon it would otherwise struggle with, and gives it a better chance against Ghost and Poison types. This is more of an offensive Terra type due to Gardevoir's weak defenses. Breloom. This one might surprise people, but Breloom's best Terra type is Rock. It helps with the Flying, Fire, Ice, and Poison types that are usually problems for it. The Ground and Water types normally used to check Rock types need to be really careful due to Breloom's grass coverage. Plus, Breloom learns several rock moves, meaning you don't need to rely on Terra Blast. Slaking. 
paranormal here you have the stats you don't need resistances that badly and an additional power boost to a pokemon with as many stats as kyogre is terrifying terrifying <laughs> today's video is sponsored by factor get fresh ready-made meals delivered to your doorstep when you sign up with factor factor chef created meals are fresh never frozen and designed by dietitians to ensure every meal is packed with premium science-backed nutritional quality no more meal prep no more dishes no more unhealthy fast food factor offers the most convenient way to eat well while eating right i've been putting out more content than i ever have before I basically only eat, sleep, and work at the moment. With Factor, I can save time on meal prep while still eating healthy. I appreciate that they have a bunch of good vegetarian options as well. Factor's menus are updated weekly and include over 27 meals and 34 add-on options. They offer seafood, veggie, and meat options, along with keto, calorie smart, chef's favorite, vegan, and vegetarian. Use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code HOGWOLFIDES60 for 60% off your first box. Hariyama. Hariyama has very respectable bulk, but not great defensive typing. The best thing you can do is to give it more survivability. Best done through Terra Steel. It even already learns Bullet Punch. Sableye. Sableye is only here to be annoying, so let's give it the most annoying Terra type. Steel. Again. As if getting rid of it wasn't already a pain. Medicham. Medicham is too frail for us to worry about bolstering its defenses, so let's focus on offense instead. I think Terra Ghost is best because it allows Medicham to hit the psychic types that resist both fighting and psychic, and makes it immune to fake out. Camerupt. Quadruple weak to water, double weak to ground, make this bad beeb a grass type and let your worries wash, er, grow away. Torkoal. <laughs> Cut and dry, Terra Fire. Eruption in the Sun is one of the strongest attacks in the game, and you can make it even stronger? <laughs> no question. Cacturn. This one's tricky because Cacturn doesn't really do anything well, but I think the answer might actually be Terra Poison. Grass and Dark beat the ground and psychic types that beat poison types, and Poison helps with the fighting, poison, and fairy types that normally beat Cacturn. If you want to focus more on your offense, Dark is a good alternative. Altaria. Same typing as Dragonite, so Steel is a premier candidate if you're looking for something bulky. If you do want more damage output, Fire is best, but don't expect to stay on the field for very long. Zangoose. Zangoose often feels like it's just right below the damage output you want, so with Terra Normal, you can give it the bump it needs. Alternatively, Terra Fighting to hit the Rock and Steel types that resist Normal is also good. Zviper. Zviper is in a similar spot to Muk, but as a frailer, more offensive poison type, you want to focus on damage. Terra Ground can bolster its offenses without sacrificing its defenses. Tropius. No Terra type can save Tropius, but if you want it to stick around for longer, water's your best bet. Alternatively, Grass isn't the worst, at least to try and get it to do some damage. Glalie. Glalie has two options. Ground, which improves its defenses and increases its coverage, or Ice, which bolsters its offenses but retains its middling defense. Salamence. Now, you're probably thinking that Terra Steel is the way to go here. After all, both Altaria and Dragonite favor Terra Steel. But unlike those flying dragons, Salamence is more offensive in nature, and its Terra type should help it clear out pesky Steel types that get in its way. Terra Fire Salamence takes advantage of the fire moves it learns and its strong offensive stats, at the cost of some bulk. If you do want to run bulky Salamence, Terra Steel is, of course, a fine option as well. Staraptor. Normal and flying types struggle to hit rock and steel types, making Staraptor's best Terra type, fighting. It also gives Staraptor a rock resistance and more help against ice types. Plus, Staraptor already learns close combat. Luxray. Luxray is kind of a mix between Jolteon and Ampharos in that it's a little faster than Ampharos and a little bulkier than Jolteon. For this reason, Electric or Ice are the best Terra types in that order. Vespaquen. I've given this a lot of thought and I've concluded that its best option is Terra Rock. Ground, Fighting, and Grass attacks that are strong against Rock types are resisted by Vespaquen's original typing. And with rock moves, Vespaquin can hit the fire, ice, and flying Pokemon that threaten it. Ground is a decent option as well. Pachirisu, the most famous competitive Pokemon of all time. I really struggled to find Pachirisu's best Terra type. It's a defensive Pokemon, so you're probably thinking, Terra Steel, Terra Steel. No, we want to get rid of its ground weakness. In the end, I think flying is the best choice. 
It's immune to ground, and with Volt Absorb, Pachi doesn't need to worry about electric attacks. Depending on the team, you could actually make a case for Bug as well. And fine. Steel is good if you can handle ground attacks. Drift Blim. If you're using Drift Blim defensively, Terra Steel is its best option. If you want more damage output, go with Terra Ghost. Mismagius. Terra Fighting. Great synergy with Ghost offensively, and it resists Dark defensively. Terra Ghost is also okay for more damage output. Haunch Crow. Dark and Flying have surprisingly good offensive coverage, leaving you with two options. Terra Steel to help Haunch Crow stick around for longer, or Terra Dark to help it do even more damage. Bronzong. Bronzong's typing can't really be improved much, but there are scenarios where you might want something else. Terra Dark is the best option, as not only does it resist the Ghost and Dark type moves that threaten Bronzong, it also provides immunity to prankster attacks, which can help if you're looking to set up Trick Room. Lucario. Lucario is weak to fighting, ground, and fire, but has enough bulk to survive most neutral attacks. For that reason, Terra Water is the best option, improving its good offense without suffering from too many weaknesses. Alternatively, Terra Fighting gives Lucario the ability to amp its damage even more. Hippowdon. As a defensive Pokemon that's only weak to water, grass, and ice, you guessed it, Terra Steel. Alternatively, you could actually make a case for Terra Rock. Though it does add some weaknesses, it gives Hippowdon a special defense boost in the sand and improves its offensive capabilities. Toxicroak. Terra Dark takes Toxicroak's quadruple weakness to Psychic and makes it an immunity. Not to mention, it gives a damage buff to Sucker Punch, a strong priority attack. Luminion. Since Luminion is only weak to water and grass, and its main goal is normally to stick around for as long as possible to support its team, Terra Dragon is the best type, with Terra Steel being a fine alternative. A bonus snow. I made an in-depth video about this on Bonus Wolf before the game's released, but long story short, water is the best Terra type for a Boma Snow, lets it resist the fire attacks normally used to shut it down, and its original typing matches up very favorably into the grass and electric types normally used to stop water types. Magnazone. Magnazone has one clear Terra option flying. With an immunity to ground and a resistance to fighting, it's an amazing defensive shift. And Electric and Steel are already providing enough offense that Magnazone doesn't really need an increase in coverage. Weavile. Weavile is really just looking to increase its coverage and its damage output. I like Terra Ground to hit Fire and Steel types normally used to beat Ice types, but Terra Fighting is also good to hit Dark, Steel, and Rock types too. Leafeon. Like most grass types, Leafeon really benefits from Terra Fire, especially thanks to its ability Chlorophyll. With this, it can hit the Steel, Grass, and Bug types that normally wall it. Surprisingly, Terra Rock is pretty good as well, hitting Fire, Flying, Ice, and Bug types for super effective damage, and resisting Flying, Poison, Fire, and Bug. Glaceon Glaceon's best Terra type is Water. It allows it to make better use of its good overall stats, and though neither Ice nor Water can hit opposing Water types, Glaceon's access to Freeze Dry remedies this. If you want a strictly offensive type, Fighting pairs well with Glaceon's Ice coverage. Glade. Glade has better bulk than Gardevoir, and already has good move coverage, so I like using its Terra typing defensively. Steel resists the Flying and Fairy moves that hit it for super effective, and gives it a number of useful resistances to boot. Frostlass. Frostlass isn't bulky enough to be worrying about its defenses. The type that most improves its offenses is Terra Fighting. Dark and Steel types that would otherwise be good into Frostlass now need to watch out, and the Rock and Dark moves that used to threaten it are now resisted. Rotom Naked. We're gonna go through the Rotoms kind of quickly because there's a lot of them, but for base Rotom, I like Terra Dark defensively or Terra Electric otherwise. Rotom Fan. Let's just get this out of the way right now. Every other Rotom's best Terra type is Electric. Not only does it improve their damage output, it also gives them no weakness. Just in case you want alternatives for each Rotom form, I'll be going over each one's second best options. For Rotom Fan, consider Ground, just so it can hit the Rock and Steel types that resist flying. Rotom Cut. Electric and Grass have pretty good coverage, but it could be improved further with Terra Ice. However, you do lose some survivability at the benefit of more coverage. It's also worth noting you would need Terra Blast to make this work. Rotom Freezer. Terra Water lets you have the benefit of Ice type attacks without the drawback of being an Ice type. You would just be using this for the defensive benefit of not being weak to Fire, Fighting, or Rock. Rotom Heat. Terra Fairy lets Rotom Heat become neutral to its weaknesses, and gives it a positive matchup into Dragon-type Pokemon that resist both Electric and Fire. Rotom Wash. 
Terra Ice allows Rotom more coverage, especially against Dragon types who normally wall it completely. Lilligant. Lilligant's main goal is to stay alive and support its teammates by putting your opponent to sleep, so a defensive Terra type is best. I'd go with Water, but if you aren't worried about Fire types, Steel is a good option as well. Crocodile. Terra Poison. It's probably surprising, but hear me out. Poison is only weak to Ground and Psychic, two types Crocodile matches up well against because of its ability and typing. Poison can't hit a opposing poison, rock, steel, ghost, or ground types, four of which Crocodile already hit for super effective damage. Plus, Crocodile is weak to fighting, bug, and fairy, three types resisted by poison. It's a surprisingly good fit. Unovan Zoroark. Zoroark has atrocious bulk, so it really just wants to increase its offense. Terra Ghost is the best way to do this, as it turns a weakness into an immunity and improves your coverage, though neither Dark nor Ghost can hit opposing Dark types. Terra Fire is a decent option as well, to allow Zoroark to make use of the fire moves that it learns. Sawsbuck. Like most grass types, Sawsbuck benefits the most from turning into a fire type. It has the added benefit of Terra Blast being a stab move before terastalizing, and a fire type move after, meaning it's still useful before you terastalize. Electros. Electros is a Pokemon with no no weaknesses, decent bulk, and below average offenses, meaning the best thing it can do is Terra Electric to raise its damage. Terra Steel is also acceptable to increase its survivability. Bear Tick. Bear Tick may finally be good thanks to Terra Water. With Terra Water, it can make good use of its ability, stats, and move pool without its horrible typing. Creogonal. Creogonal's physical defense is so low that it's almost never going to last in a competitive match, so you're better off going with Terra Ice and hoping you KO them before they KO you. If you do want Creogonal to stick around, Terra Water is probably your only hope. Hydreigon. Hydreigon is a Pokemon with a ton of good options for Terra types, but I personally like Steel the best. It's the best type to use against fairies, and it resists Dragon, Bug, and Ice. Hydreigon also learns Flash Cannon, meaning it isn't totally reliant on Terra Blast. Terra Poison is also surprisingly good here, making Psychic Hydreigon's only weakness, which its Dark type matches up well against. Talonflame. Talonflame has two choices, improve its coverage with Terra Grass, or improve its offense with Terra Flying. I like Terra Flying more personally since it doesn't require Terra Blast, but the choice ultimately depends on the rest of the team. Vivion. Vivion has one job, stay alive and spam Sleep Powder. Wait, that's two jobs. Uh, anyway, Vivion's best Terra type rhymes with meal. Pyroar. Pyroar has two options, Terra Normal to increase damage output and eliminate all but one of its weaknesses, or Terra Water to help its offensive coverage, especially against rock types. Florgus. Terra Steel. It's a bulky fairy type aiming to stick around as long as possible, and Steel resists both of fairy's weaknesses. Go Goat. Same typing as Sawsbuck, same reasoning here. Terra Fire is great both defensively and offensively. Clawitzer. I love this mod, by the way. Anyway, Terra Water allows Clawitzer to amp its damage output even higher between its ability and its typing. Alternatively, you can Terra Dark to make Dark Pulse do even more damage. Sylveon. Sylveon's main weakness is its inability to hit Steel types, so Terra Fire is the way to go. Sylveon is already so bulky, so having a good defensive type just adds to the fun. Terra Ground is good as well. It provides a bit less defense, but has the ability to hit every single type that resists fairy for super effective damage. Kalos, 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 Kalonian, Kalos, Kalos Gudra. Gudra has the bulk. Gudra has the moves. Gudra lacks the damage. Terra Dragon allows Gudra to give its offense the little bump it needs to be just a bit more threatening, but something like Terra Electric, Fire, or Poison also works to gain a secondary stab move. Noivern. Same typing as Salamence, same Terra types as Salamence. Fire is best, Steel is okay as well. We've got four Oricorios now, so let's just go through these quickly. Oricorio Baile. Can't hit rock types, weak to electric and rock, Terra Ground. Oricorio Pom Pom. Can't hit electric types, weak to rock, Terra Ground. Oricorio Pau. Can't hit steel types, weak to rock and dark, Terra Fighting. Oricorio Sensu. Like most ghost types, Terra Dark. Oricorio Wolfie VGC. Terra Subscribe. Please. Like and rock. Pure rock types are difficult, but for Lycanroc, I think Terra Water provides the most value across the board. 
Alternatively, if you want more damage and less survivability, Terra Fighting improves your offense the most. Toxapex. Toxapex is a purely defensive Pokemon, so you might think I'm going to say Steel again, but you're wrong. Go with Terra Water. You eliminate your weaknesses to Ground and Psychic in exchange for a Grass weakness, and you even allow Toxapex to do a little more damage. Alternatively, Terra Grass resists most of the types Toxapex is weak to, but I don't like it as much because it adds a ton of new weaknesses. Mudsdale. Mudsdale wants to take as little damage as possible so it can build up those stamina boosts. Terra Steel it is. Lorantis. Similar to Mudsdale, Lorantis wants to stick around to build up those contrary boosts. Terra Steel it is. Serena. Serena has a great mix of defense and offense, so we want to give it a well-balanced Terra type. Terra Water makes Serena's only weaknesses Grass and Electric, two types it normally resists. Terra Fire provides a more offensive angle as well, while still maintaining a good defensive type. Kamala, Vice President of the United States, Terra Normal. Mimikyu. Stopping Mimikyu from getting Trick Room up was already very difficult, but with Terrastalizing, it's borderline impossible. Terra Steel allows Mimikyu to be extremely bulky with tons of resistances, but if you're really worried about ghost types or prankster users, Terra Dark is a good alternative. Greedent. I wanted to make a joke here about how Terra Dark is best to help with Greedent's kleptomaniacal tendencies, but in reality, I like Terra Normal the best here, and this is a serious list. Corviknight. Corviknight's typing is great, being only weak to electric and fire. I like Terra Ground here in most cases for the electric immunity, but Terra Steel is also solid for a shifting of weaknesses and more damage output on its steel moves. Dreadnaw. This is another weird one, but I'm going to go ahead and slap another Terra Bug type on this one. It resists grass, ground, and fighting, and Dreadnought already threatens fire, flying, and rock types that hit bug for super effective. Plus, water and rock are good offensive coverage, so you can afford to use your Terra type purely defensively. Colossal. Colossal, baby! That's my goat! Woo! Terra Grass resists the ground and water types normally used to check Colossal and threatens them back. You'll also be able to take down rock types that normally match up well against the Steam Engine. Plus, you have access to Solar Beam, which eliminates the need for Terra Blast if you have the right team. Flapple. Flapple is a grass and dragon type who focuses entirely on offense, and since neither type can hit steel and Flapple is weak to fairy, Terra Fire is your best choice. Appleton. This is an example of why terrestrialization is just so cool. Even though Appleton and Flapple share a typing, a pre-evolution, and many of the same moves, their best Terra type is not the same. Appleton is a bulky dragon who wants to stay alive for as long as possible, making its best option Terra Steel, especially with Thick Fat reducing the damage from super effective fire attacks. Toxtricity. Toxtricity actually has really good defensive typing, it just struggles because its stats are so bad. I like Terra Normal for it because it makes Boom Burst even more powerful than it already was. Poltegeist. Terra Dark gives a good balance between offensive and defensive support for Poltegeist. Hatterini. Hatterini has two options depending on how you want to use it. If you want to focus more on being a bulky Trick Room setter, go with Terra Steel. If you want to use it instead as a Trick Room Sweeper, go with Terra Fire for coverage. Just remember, you'll probably still need enough bulk on it to set up Trick Room to begin with. Pinkurchin. This one's easy. Terra Electric. It's a great type already, and it allows Pinkurchin to do even more damage. Frostmoth. Frostmoth has the single worst typing in the game, so turning it into anything else is already a big upgrade. I think the best choice is water, for the resistances and lack of weaknesses. Electric is also a good option, as Frostmoth already threatens ground types, Electric's only weakness. Stonejourner. Look at Stonejourner's special defense. How am I supposed to keep this thing on the field? Might I recommend grass or dragon? They resist water and grass, two types that are predominantly special attackers. Ice Q. Ice Q normally uses a belly drum set, so I like Electric as its Terra type. Like Frostmoth, Ice does really well against ground types, and most ground attacks are physical anyways, so they don't work while Ice Face is active. Copperaja. Copperaja has two good options. Water, to increase its defensive presence, eliminating the weaknesses to ground and fighting and resisting fire, or ground for better offensive coverage. Primeape. Primeape has a pretty good attack stat. However, quick flying and psychic types make easy work of it thanks to its poor defenses. Terra Ice would take care of those flying types and might even help you outlive a psychic attack. Or you could go Terra Fighting with a speedier set to actually get your moves off and wipe the opponent away before they can hit back. Electrode. Electrode's speed stat is nuts, but all it takes is one ground attack and this thing is gone. 
Terra Ice is useful to take ground types out right away, and also do super effective damage to grass types you had trouble hitting before. Tauros, Kanto. Tauros is another good Pokemon that suffers due to its typing. Terra Fighting would bump up its super effective damage output from zero types to five, two of which include types that used to resist you. The same goes for Terra Ground. Ditto. Ditto is surprisingly an easy choice. It should simply have the strongest Terra type. Terra Steel. Quillfish. Quillfish's issue is that it doesn't do any damage. Terra Water allows it to get a little offensive bump while still remaining a good type. Terra Grass is a good defensive option as well. Heracross. Heracross is weak to Fire, Flying, Psychic, and Fairy, and struggles to hit Flying, Poison, Ghost, and Fairy types for even neutral damage. Terra Rock improves both your defenses and offenses, especially against Flying and Fire types. Delibird. Let's just put it out there right away. Delibird sucks. I've even tried this thing on meme teams before, but yeah. Just give it Terra Ground so it can hit its weaknesses and call it a day. Masquerade. Except for its special attack, Masquerade doesn't have that great of stats. This is an example of how much heavy lifting Intimidate can do for a Pokemon. Terrestrializing into Rock might buy you another turn and allows you to hit some of your prior weaknesses for super effective damage. Masquerade also has access to water moves thanks to its prior evolution, so Terra Water is a good secondary option. Swalit. Swalit is more so a tank than an attacker. Terra Ground can help you change that by allowing you to hit Rock, Poison, and Steel types, which all used to resist you. If you want to keep playing with your defense though, go with Terra Steel. Grumpig. Grumpig is a lackluster Pokemon to say the least. Terra Fairy can help you avoid dark types and even hit them back. Plus, it gives you a cheeky bug resistance. Terra Fire also works if you're looking to gain more resistances or if you want to hit the types that used to resist Psychic. Whiskash. Whiskash hates grass. Terra steal that sucker and make that four times weakness a resistance. Use Terra Fire and you can even hit it back for super effective damage too, though this requires Terra Blast. Banette. Banette is another glass cannon, so your best option is Terra Dark to turn its weaknesses into resistances, plus get a damage boost on Sucker Punch. If you've got a good supporter next to it, Terra Ghost will allow Banette to do even more damage. Its best stat is its attack after all. Love Disk. I'm just gonna say it, Love Disk is one of the worst Pokemon of all time. That being said, use Terra Water and maybe this thing can actually do something? Probably not. Cricketune. Cricketune's only viable role is as a baton passer, which means we need survivability. Terra Steel it is. Floatzel. Floatzel might actually be good if it didn't have such poor defense stats. It's fast and it can hit hard, especially in the rain. Terra Ice can take out scary grass types and helps with types your other teammates might not be able to handle, such as Dragon. Speaking of Dragon, you can also Terrestrialize into that for a more defensive option. Gastrodon. Being the same types as Whiskash, Gastrodon's best Terra types are also Steel and Fire. Skuntank. There's no real good option for Skuntank except for Terra Dark. You do trade your ground weakness for three new ones, but you have your dark moves boosted to get rid of ghost and psychic types faster, plus you become more threatening to Pokemon you hit for neutral damage. Spiritomb. Spiritomb had one of the best type combinations up until Fairy was introduced. Give it Terra Steel and get your revenge. Garchomp. Garchomp is an incredible Pokemon, even with its quadruple weakness to ice, plus its weaknesses to Fairy and Dragon. It's pretty obvious, right? Terra Steel. Gothitelle. Gothitelle is surprisingly bulky, and it really wants to stay alive so it can keep opponents locked on the field with Shadow Tag. Terra Dark can turn some of its weaknesses into resistances, but Terra Steel is also good if you aren't worried about Dark and Ghost-type attacks. Amoongus. Amoongus wants to use its Terrastalization to survive just a hair longer and put more Pokemon to sleep. The best Terra type for it is Water, to maintain a defensive typing while resisting both Fire and Ice who did super effective damage to it before. Alamalamalamala. Alamalamalamala is already a decent defensive type, so either give it Terra Water to increase its offense or Terra Steel to ensure it lasts through another turn or two. Haxorus. Most people might want to use Terra Steel on Haxorus to cover its weaknesses, but I think there's a case to be made for Terra Ground. Because of Haxorus's ridiculous attack stat, using Earthquake with it can seriously threaten the Steel types normally used to check dragons. Nevertheless, Terra Steel is also a good option if you're solely worried about survivability. Braviary. While not the best normal flying type out there, Braviary still has a really good attack stat. Both its stabs are resisted by steel and rock types, and it already normally runs a fighting type attack, so I recommend Terra Fighting. Otherwise, Terra Flying is good as well. 
Volcarona. Volcarona is looking to buy a turn to set up with Quiver Dance before going in for a sweep. For that reason, its best terra type is Steel, which not only resists Volcarona's major rock weakness and minor flying weakness, it's also not like Volcarona has room for another offensive move anyway. Dragargle. Dragargle sees a big benefit from turning into a Steel type. It'll still be weak to ground, which isn't ideal, but it'll gain a bunch more resistances, which is great for a Pokemon with such good defenses already. Terra Fairy can be used here as well. You'll gain fewer resistances, including Ice and Psychic, which Dragargle is normally weak to, but you become immune to Dragon without being weak to ground. Alucha. Alucha has high speed, respectable attack, and good coverage. Just keep this thing alive with Terra Steel and you are set. Or Terra Fighting if you have the means to survive already. Dedene. Like most frail electric types, you don't want Dedene to fall victim to a one-hit KO ground move, especially if it's not likely to attack first. Go with Terra Flying. Klefki. Klefki's only two weaknesses are ground and fire. Terrestrialize into water if you're more worried about fire attacks or if you're indifferent, or terra flying if you're specifically worried about ground type attacks. Avalug. Like most defensive ice types, terra water is best. It'll give you more resistances and take care of a few of your weaknesses at the same time. Gumshoes. Oh, normal types. Such a silly concept. Throw terra ground on this thing so you can actually threaten rock and steel types and utilize your attack stat. Probominable. Probominable's hidden ability, Anger Point, maxes out its already bonkers attack stat after a critical hit. Pair this thing with something that can guarantee a weak crit on you and use Terra Steel to shore up your defenses. Or you can terrestrialize into fighting and just go hog wild with this thing. Zalazzle. Zalazzle has the speed and lacks the bulk or damage output. I think Terra Fire for a damage boost is your best bet. Oranguru. I like normal Psychic as a typing because you're immune to Ghost, which would normally scare off Psychic types. Terra Fairy lets Oranguro resist Dark and Bug, its only two weaknesses. Terra Dark is good too, since Bug isn't that big a deal, plus this grants an immunity to Prankster. Pissimian. Terra Rock allows Pissimian the best offensive pairing while still making good use of its move pool. Palisand. Palisand's base type is already good, but you can go with Terra Dark to avoid incoming Ghost and Dark type attacks. Bruxish. Bruxish is quite literally the ugliest Pokemon I've ever seen, and I can't believe they brought it back. Despite that, its stats are shockingly all right. Just throw Terra Water on it for more offense or Terra Dark on it for more defense. Just please get this thing off my screen. Sandaconda. Sandaconda's defense is fantastic, but the same can't be said for its special defense. Have it terrestrialize into rock and take advantage of your Sand Spit ability, and you've got yourself a tank. Terra Steel is a better overall type that gives you fewer stats. Barascuta. Barascuta is almost always guaranteed to hit first when in the rain which is great because this thing doesn't have the best defenses. In fact, they're garbage. So take advantage of that high speed and attack and Terra Water this thing to try and KO your opponent before they can KO you. Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl is a Pokemon that's so good, it doesn't really need to terrestrialize. Believe it or not, it even got buffed this generation. But if you really want to terrestrialize it, my recommendation is Terra Steel. It turns all of Grimmsnarl's weaknesses into resistances, plus it's just a great type on a defensive Pokemon. Phalanx. Terra Steel is Phalanx's best option because it'll give you a chance to set up no retreat. Plus, Phalanx can already use Iron Head. Ndidi. Ndidi is a normal Psychic type like Oranguru, and both gender variants benefit from Terra Fairy for the same reason. However, Terra Steel also works because you really want Ndidi to stick around for as long as possible to support its teammates, and Steel is just a great defensive type in general. Dragapult. Dragapult is incredible for its stats, ability, and flexibility. Using Terra Steel allows it to stay alive longer and turn three of its weaknesses into resistances in the process. Meow Scarada. Everyone's new favorite standing cat has two options. Terra Grass for more offensive pressure, or Terra Poison for defense. Terra Poison turns four of your weaknesses into resistances, which is pretty massive. Skeledurge. Skeledurge's best Terra type comes down to what you're more worried about. If you're concerned with your rock and ground weaknesses, go full ghost. If you're worried about your ghost and dark weaknesses, go Terra Dark. Bequavel. Bequavel's best option is clearly Terra Steel. This turns four of your five weaknesses into resistances. Way too good to pass up. Oink Cologne. Giving either gender of Oink Cologne Terra Ground will allow it to get stab on Stomping Tantrum. Another option is Terra Fairy, so it can get stab on Play Rough while becoming resistant to its prior weakness, fighting. The Dunsparce. Rock and Steel both resist to Dunsparce's best attack in Hyper Drill, but thankfully it has access to Drill Run. Give it Terra Ground, and oh how the turntables have fallen. Spidops. Spidops sucks. Sorry to break the news to you this way, but the stats are very, uh, how do I put this? Bad. 
The only thing that I could think of was to give a Terra Bug to power up first impression and U-turn. Low Kicks. Low Kicks' stats are better. The main thing saving it is its dark secondary type and hidden ability Tinted Lens, which lets any of its not very effective moves actually do regular damage. Because of this, we don't have to worry about changing Lokix's type to give it more coverage. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you're going to want to give it Terra Bug to improve its damage output just a little more. Rabska. Y'all, I am so Rabska pilled. Rabska is one of two Pokemon in the game to learn Revival Blessing, which is a pretty big deal. For this reason, you want it to stay alive, so a type like Rock that resists Fire, Flying, and Bug is a good choice. Terra Dark is good as well to make you immune to Prankster, as well as giving you resistances to Ghost and Dark. Houndstone. Houndstone is actually pretty amazing. With its move, Last Respect, it can get 50 more damage added onto it with every Fainted Ally. Boost its damage further with Terra Ghost and go to town. Is Pathra. Now, Espathra really wants a little bit of help on the offensive side, but there's just not too much you can do given its abysmal move pool. Its defense isn't great, but with Terra Steel, you can at least spam Lumina Crash for longer. Furigraph. Furigraph could have been a contender if its defense and speed weren't so bad. I suggest making it bulkier with Terra Fairy or Terra Steel, and then setting up with Nasty Plot, Calm Mind, or Trick Room. Wugtrio. Wugtrio sucks. Terra Water is your only hope to let it do a little more damage. Dodonzo. Dodonzo was made for double battles. Thanks to its synergy with Tatsugiri, this thing can double all of its stats and raise them even higher with its signature move, Order Up. Going with Terra Dragon will work both offensively with Order Up and defensively since it resists both of Dodonzo's weaknesses. Belooza. Belooza's stats leave something to be desired. That something is offense and defense. Thankfully, these can both be improved with Terra Dark especially since Veluza has both Sharpness and Night Slash. For pure defense, Terra Fairy is also a solid option, which combos well with Filet Away. Palafin. Palafin's hero form has a stupid attack stat. Just throw Terra Water on this thing and boost your powerful water type attacks even further. Arbaliva. Arbaliva is a bulky Pokemon with a ton of weaknesses, so I suggest Terra Fire to turn some of its weaknesses into resistances, while continuing to apply pressure to water, rock, and ground types with your grass type attacks. Skullvillain. Bad defense with no speed to make up for it. Terra Steel allows it to survive for longer and set up more safely with spicy extract. Belly Bolt. Belly Bolt's worst nightmare is the ground type. If you want to threaten them offensively and make use of Belly Bolt's move pool, you can use Terra Water. If you just want to survive their attacks, Terra Flying makes you completely immune. Just watch out because many ground types also use rock type attacks. Revivroom. Revivroom's hidden ability filter allows it to take 25% less damage from super effective attacks. So let's buff its defense even more. Terra Water can help with fire and ground types, and Terra Flying just straight up makes you immune to ground. Orthworm. Orthworm is somehow a pure steel type that is immune to ground type attacks. Add on its high defense and you've got yourself a tank. Sort of. Its special defense leaves a bit to be desired, so special fire type attackers are pretty threatening. I recommend Terra Ground to turn off your weakness to fire and get a boost to your ground type attacks. Mousehold. This Pokemon is nutty, and it has a couple ways that it can be trained. For an offensive set, go Terra Normal to do more damage with Population Bomb. If you're running a defensive set with Friend Guard and Follow Me, go Terra Fairy or Terra Ghost. To Titan. To Titan has fantastic coverage. With such a huge HP stat to make up for its crappy defenses, I'd go Terra Ground for more offense and to just be a better type in general. Max Caliber. Max Caliber's attack stat is great. So I'd focus on defense with Terra Steel to turn four of its five weaknesses into resistances. If you want to hit those pesky steel types yourself, or you're worried about fighting Pokemon, you can also go with Terra Ground. Tatsugiri. Because of Tatsugiri's wild synergy with Dodonzo, you might just want to cover your defenses with Terra Steel, making your weaknesses to Dragon and Fairy both resistances. Cyclozar. If you're going to run Cyclozar, I suggest going with a special set, even though its physical attack is higher, with Terra Fire and Overheat to hit Steel and Ice. You will also become resistant to Fairy. Going with Terra Steel can give you some more resistances, but you'll still be weak to fighting. Palmot. This generation's Electric Rodin is Palmot. It's got pretty good attack and speed, but no room in its four move slots to run its few coverage moves. I'd say go with Terra Electric or Terra Fighting just to push its attack a little further. Kilowattrel. Like Palmot, Kilowattrel's four move slots are all taken up by moves of its typing. I'd say Terra Electric is your best bet. Bombardier. Give it Terra Dark or Terra Rock, depending on which type you want to get more offense out of. Squawk Ability. Terra Normal. This Pokemon has very little going for it, so this one was kind of tricky. This is actually a decent Terra Blast user, so you can also customize the type you want for it for your team here. Flamigo. It's kind of a niche Pokemon, but it has some real potential. 
Flying and fighting has great offensive synergy, so Terra flying or Terra fighting to optimize your damage is your best bet. Cloth. You basically want to buy Cloth more turns to survive after Anger Shell has activated. So a defensive type like Terra Water or Terra Bug is best. Garganackle. Garganackle is kind of just better Cloth. You could also go with Terra Water on this guy, but Terra Ground is also a good option if you want to take advantage of its attack stat and access to ground moves while removing some of its weaknesses. Glamora. Glamora is quadruple weak to ground, so I recommend Terra Grass. Its original typing scares off any fire, flying, or poison type Pokemon. Terra Bug is good here as well. Graphii. Graphii is a purely support mon, so you're looking for a defensive Terra type. If I had to pick one, I'd say Terra Flying just to avoid ground types. Doxpun. If you choose to run Doxpun in competitive Pokemon, go with Terra Steel. Its ability, Well-Baked Body, makes it immune to fire type moves, so you'll only have fighting and ground to worry about. You still have access to your Fairy Stab even after you terrestrialize, so you should be able to handle fighting types. Plus, Steel is immune to Poison and Resist Steel, which are Doxpun's two original weaknesses. Mabostiff. Mabostiff has some great abilities. I think you're going to want to go with Terra Fairy to get Stab on Play Rough and to turn your weaknesses to Fighting and Bug into Resistances. Bramblegast. Bramblegast doesn't have a lot of room for coverage moves, so I recommend using Terra Ghost to both give up some of your original weaknesses and get a power boost. Goldengo. I'm just going to say it, Goldengo is probably broken. It can't be affected by status moves, and its signature move, Make It Rain, is a 120 base power spread move that only lowers your special attack by one stage. I say just make it Terra Steel to turn your Ghost and Dark Weaknesses off while powering up Make It Rain. Great Tusk. Great Tusk has super high physical attack and defense with good coverage and access to Steel type attacks. So Terra Steel is best. It turns five of your six weaknesses into resistances and lets you get stab on Steel type attacks. Brute Bonnet. Brute Bonnet is probably going to be a nightmare. At first glance, its abilities and typing set it apart from Amoongus, but when you add Terrestrialization into the mix, this thing just becomes Ultra Amoongus. Pre Terrestrialization, it's immune to Psychic and resists Ground, so turning it into a Poison type should be easy enough to get resistances to Bug, Fighting, Fairy, and Poison. Sandy Shocks. All Sandy Shocks has to do is take off its Ground typing, and it loses three of its four weaknesses. Terra Electric all the way. Plus, you get that nice power boost. Screamtail. Screamtail is a tank thanks to its stats, but its typing gives it a number of weaknesses. Just go Terra Steel and make it even harder to remove. Fluttermane. Fluttermane is one of the most broken Paradox Pokemon, and Terrestrialization can push that even further. I like Terra Ghost because it turns off your weakness to steel while giving you a power boost. Slitherwing. Slitherwing is a bug fighting type that can learn Flare Blitz. Terra Fire lets you resist Fire and Fairy while also getting a power boost. Roaring Moon. Unless your opponent sees it coming, Roaring Moon has free reign to Dragon Dance while it terrestrializes into Fairy, avoiding all of its prior weaknesses. Another option is Terra Steel to take out Fairies with Iron Head. Iron Treads. Iron Treads is ground and steel. Kind of embarrassing to be weak to your own typing, right? Let's change that by using Terra Ground to get rid of some of its weaknesses and get an attack boost on top of it. Iron Moth. Iron Moth is a fire and poison type that can learn grass attacks. With Terra Grass, you can take care of those water, rock, and ground types that were giving you trouble before. Iron Hands literally looks like it's made of steel, but it's fighting and electric. Let's fix that with Terra Steel and get rid of two of your three weaknesses in the process. Iron Jugulus. Iron Jugulus is another Pokemon that doesn't have room in its four move slots to fit any coverage. I suggest going Terra Steel here too to cover its weaknesses. Iron Thorns. Iron Thorns can wipe away that four times weakness to ground by going Terra Flying. It doesn't have access to any flying moves, so this should really catch people off guard. Its bulk should be enough to take at least one or two rock type attacks, but be careful with special electric users. Iron Bundle. If you want a defensive Terra type, I like Terra Grass here. If you want more offense while still maintaining a decent type, go with Terra Water. Iron Valiant. Iron Valiant has five weaknesses. Going Terra Steel turns all of those into resistances. Ting Lu. Ting Lu has a massive HP stat and physical defense on top of that. To tell you the truth, its special defense isn't too bad considering how high its HP is. I'd go all in on defense and use Terra Fairy or Terra Steel. Chen Pao. Chen Pao is super fast for an ice type. Go with Terra Dark or Terra Fighting. Your dark moves and access to Sacred Sword are just way too good to pass up on this damage boost. Wo Shen. Wo Shen is the same typing as Brute Bonnet, and its best Terra type is also poison for literally the same reasons. Chi Yu. Chi Yu is a dark fire type that can excel both offensively and defensively by running Terra Dark. If you want to focus purely on your defense, I recommend Terra Grass. 
Coridon. Terra Fire is the way to go. Coridon has a quadruple weakness to Fairy before Terrestrializing, and it sets up the Sun in addition to getting an attack boost. So change it to Fire right away and Flare Blitz those Pokemon into Oblivion. You can also go Terra Steel for a better defensive type as well. Miradon's ability does the same thing, but with Electric Terrain and Special Attack. Again, let's take advantage of this and go with Terra Electric for offense or Terra Steel for defense. Tinkaton. You know, for having a hammer that's literally bigger than its body, this thing isn't as strong as you'd think it would be. But it's fairy and steel, so it's automatically better than most Pokemon. If you were to terrestrialize it, go with Terra Fairy to give up both of your weaknesses and get a power boost. Armor Rouge. For Armor Rouge, I'd say go Terra Grass to resist those ground and water Pokemon, while taking advantage of the fact that your ability makes you immune to fire type attacks. The same goes for Seraledge. Terra Grass is a great option. Except Seraledge also gets access to close combat, so if you don't want Terra Grass, you can also go with Terra Fighting to get more damage. Coach Cruel. Coach Cruel is four times weak to ice and is weak to fire, so I recommend Terra Water here. Terra Steel is another option, but you still have to watch out for fire attacks. King Gambit. You don't need to worry about your offense with King Gambit, especially if you have fallen allies on your team that activate its ability. Completely avoiding ground and resisting fighting with Terra Flying would be my first choice. Bodsire. This little cutie has like no attack stat. I'd say the only thing you can do to help it is Terra Ground to at least give it a little more damage. Annihilate. Annihilate rocks. Go with Terra Ghost and boost your attack while removing three of your four weaknesses. Terra Steel is also a good defensive type here. Okay, now it's Tauros time, where we go over the three breeds of Paldean Tauros, who all have different types. Our first Tauros is the Combat Breed. Combat Breed Tauros is a pure fighting type. Terra Steel benefits it both offensively and defensively. Our next Tauros is the Blaze Breed. Blaze Breed Tauros are fighting and fire type. Going with Terra Fire will boost its fire attacks and gives up its flying and psychic weaknesses. And our last Tauros is the Aqua Breed. Like the Combat Breed, the Aqua Breed benefits from Terra Steel by turning four of its five weaknesses into resistances. This took forever, but that is the best Terra type for every Pokemon. Thank you for watching.